come to find out she's been sleeping with my husband for five years behind all of our backs. I am going to share my story. I recently separated from my husband after finding out that he had had a five-year affair with one of our mutual friends while we were going through infertility treatments. I was married for 10 years. We are from the same hometown in New Jersey. It's like a one square mile town. It's super small, so everybody knows everybody. And this woman was friends with all of our friends. So in March timeframe of 2022, we had just celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary. His birthday present, he kept seeing this watch at the exchange. So he was asking me, you know, can I just buy this watch instead of you getting me a present? He got the watch the night beforehand. We got into a disagreement on where we would live when we moved home. I thought to myself, let me look at his Apple watch and see if he was talking shit about me to his brother's group chat. And then I saw the name, we're gonna use the name Jane, which was very triggering. Long story short, like seven or eight years ago, he went out of state to visit a friend, cheated on me with a girl named Jane. So this was like eight years ago, I had forgiven him. So as I was going through these text messages, I was trying to figure out like, is this the same girl from last time and then as i kept scrolling i saw one of her child's names in the text message so that's how i knew it was our friend i always thought she was like a sweet girl yeah come to find out she's been sleeping with my husband for five years behind all of our backs when i was reading these messages on the apple watch i immediately called my friend who's friends with her and I was just hysterical and in shock. So this is me and my husband at his cousin's wedding. All night he sat back a few feet away watching his wife and girlfriend of five years dance together and hang out all night. He never once pulled his maybe pregnant wife away from the situation. I actually remember trying to get him to slow dance with me that night and he wouldn't and now it all makes sense. Not only were they both cheating on their spouses, there was also a little network of people helping them. So his aunt and uncle knew, people who pretended to be all of our family throughout the years. Some of her friends knew, but after the wedding, when we did go home, I wound up getting pregnant. Supposedly from what her best friend confessed to me, was that she knew for years that he wanted to start a family with me and that he really wanted to be a dad. So this is not new news to her. She knew the entire time. My husband had confided in her about our infertility journey and how bad he wanted to be a father. So she was well aware. She's been aware for years, supposedly. So this picture here would be like five or six days before the wedding we attended. So he gave me a trigger shot. We had intercourse a couple days before the wedding to try and have a baby. They slept together again after the wedding. We came home to California, had intercourse again on his birthday to try to conceive. And I wound up getting pregnant on his birthday, which was about a week before I found out about his affair. So when I found out about the affair, I didn't know if I was pregnant. I couldn't take a pregnancy test for like two or three weeks. So yeah, I was going out of my mind. It was a dark period of time for me and I lost the pregnancy during all of this. It is probably one of the hardest things that I've ever been through in my life. I just said to myself, I have no reason anymore to have respect for this person. I have no reason to protect them. They clearly have not respected me in the slightest the last five years. I truly think that my husband saw Jane getting away with having a picture perfect family life, having kids, pretending to be this great person, and then being able to have fun and be sneaky and sleep around. And I think he thought he could do the same thing with me. So in California, after my pregnancy loss, I handed in all of my evidence to his commands. I got him kicked out of recruiting school. And I actually want to rephrase that because I didn't get him kicked out of recruiting school. His actions as a grown man got himself kicked out of recruiting school.